Hi guys, my name is Janacy and welcome to the Mom Life Balance. So as per the title, this video will be a fall power hour cleaning. And I don't like to call my cleaning videos a routine because I do not have any sort of routine. As many of you know, I'm a full-time working mom of two children and I just don't physically have the time or the energy to spend hours cleaning. So in this power hour, I decided to focus solely on my kitchen, so I did sort of a deep clean of the whole kitchen, so I wanted to focus on cleaning the appliances, the cabinets, uh, deep clean the countertops, the backsplash, vacuum the floor, um, the kitchen island, I have like a wall right in front of it that it gets really banged up. So I just wanted to focus my time on the kitchen. So this power hour is awesome because it is a collab with two other mommies here on YouTube, Lily and Natalie. So I'm going to make sure to link their channels down below so you can go ahead and visit their channel and show them some love by subscribing. If you're coming over from Lily or Natalie's channel, I would love to welcome you to my YouTube family. Make sure to comment down below because I would love to say hi to you. So as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys! Bye. All right guys, so it's 7.03 and I have one hour to do this. I'm going to start by unloading the dishwasher and putting all those dishes away. And then right after that, I'm going to jump ahead and put all my dirty dishes that I have in the sink into the dishwasher. Wouldn't it be nice if you were actually this fast in real life? <laughs> Next I will be using the Method Power Dish Packs and I can tell you that I love it right now because it was my first time using it so I'm going to give it a few more tries before I can give you my honest opinion on it. Next I'm going to declutter all the kitchen countertops. And I love the island because it's such a good focal point for the kitchen where all the family can gather around, but it gets so cluttered every single day. Now I'm going to be hand washing all of Matthew's bottles and they will be drying on his dish rack overnight. Now something I can't miss when I'm deep cleaning my kitchen is cleaning out the garbage can because those can get pretty stinky. So using a Lysol wipe, I will wipe that down and then I'm going to be using the Mrs. Meyers Room Freshener Spray in the Scent Honey Suckle and it is my favorite right now. In that same scent Honey Suckle, I'm going to use this multi-surface spray just to take all the gunk out of the stovetop. After I have given that a very good wipe down, I will then go in with the Weeman or Weyman, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but the glass cooktop cleaner so that I can just shine that stove top. Using a paper towel, I will then buff that cleaner onto the stove top and guys, it works like magic. Every time I use it, I always stay with the same reaction. I'm in complete shock of how beautiful my stove top looks right after. So now I'm um, going section by section, I will be clearing out the countertops and I'm also going to be cleaning the countertops with that same honeysuckle scent. And then after I clean the countertops, I will then clean the backsplash. To clean the backsplash, I'll be using the Mrs. Myers glass cleaner and this is also a new product. So I can't say if I'm completely in love with it yet. 
By the way, I purchased most of all my cleaning products mentioned in this video from Girl Collaborative. And if you haven't checked them out already, you should definitely check them out. Their service is amazing and their shipping was so fast. I literally got my shipment in two days. This video is not sponsored by Grove Collaborative, but I will be more than happy to link them down below in the description box. In most of my videos that involve cleaning the kitchen, you'll see that I'm spraying Clorox cleanup inside the sink. And that's just because I usually uh, put my rag down there and I spray it with Clorox cleanup just so that I can disinfect my rag. The camera for some reason turned off on me, but I did clean the countertops and I made sure to go around all the edges of the countertop. Next I'm going to use the Method All Purpose Cleaner in the scent Honey Crisp Apple and I'm going to give all my cabinets a good wipe down. I'm also going to make sure that I wipe down all the handles as well. Now while I was up there, might as well just clean the top of the fridge. This is something that really doesn't get super dirty just because I am constantly cleaning the top of my fridge. Because when you come down my stairs, you can always see that top part of the fridge. It drives me crazy. But I just have to make sure that I always have it clean and not full of dust. Using my favorite stainless steel wipes, I'm going to give all my stainless steel appliances a wipe down. First with the wipe and then I'm going to get a dry paper towel and just buff that cleaner onto the fridge so there are no streaks. I will then repeat that same process for the microwave, the oven and the dishwasher. Using the Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser, I'm going to shine my sink and I like to pour a little bit inside the sink and with a regular sponge, I'm just going to give the sink a good scrub. I will then go in with some dish soap and that same sponge and just remove any excess cleaner that stayed behind and wash it down. Now using another one of my favorite products, it's the Magic Eraser. So using a magic eraser, I'm going to go on that side of the kitchen island where I have a wall and I'm just going to erase any marks because that wall can get pretty banged up with like jean marks or shoe marks. So I'm just making sure that I'm erasing all of those little stains. Next, I'm going to vacuum, making sure that I get into every single corner of my kitchen because if I don't, my one-year-old will. I'm telling you, I call him a human Roomba because he will pick up any little speck on the floor. And finally, I was finished with one minute to spare. Yay! I beat this power hour. And this can't be a fall cleaning video without a fall candle. This one I picked up at Home Goods. It's in the cranberry scent and it smells so, so good. I promise you guys, the smell of this candle reaches all the way to my second floor. There you have it, a clean kitchen, and I don't know about you, but when I deep clean my kitchen, I wake up so happy and in such a good mood that my kitchen is clean. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I am truly grateful. I finally reached 300 subscribers, and I'm like beyond ecstatic. So in return, I would like to do a little giveaway, so stay tuned for future videos. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I am going to give you a little hint. Fall limited edition scents. I cannot wait. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Till next time.